G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday where Mark has had a gut full of bloody broken bolts. <laughs> I hope you all had a ripple week. So obviously, let's just get stuck into this god awful broken bolts and all right, let's go. Rightio guys, I am ready to see if I can get this bolt out. Now I went down to uh, Beeps Auto, it's an auto bloody place, I think they do a lot of trade. Walked in there with that, um, that whole thing with the nut and everything, and basically they said, no, nah, don't have anything, here's a number of a bloke that will bloody blah 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 blah. And I said, oh look, I just wanna have a bloody shot at it. No, nah, don't do it, go see Abbott. So I went over to Abbott's, it was kind of like, yeah, didn't really like that experience. Um, went into Abbott's, totally different experience, very helpful. They understood that I wanted to have a shot at it. There was a customer there, an older bloke, and he, he came around and he said, oh yeah, yeah, about putting the whole, you know, a, a washer or a nut on there and building up the thing. And then he realized that the actual um, easy out was stuck in there. So, um, so they said, yeah, well, give it a shot. Why not? So what I've done, I've spent $54. They gave me a trade discount, which was good. Um, so I've gone with Cobalt, heavy duty Cobalt is the best that they had in the drills. Here they are. There we go, hopefully we can see that. So that's what they are. So I just, I just bought different sizes, maybe slowly work it up. You know, they might blunt and whatever. And then these are the easy outs. So I've got two uh, sizes there. So I reckon I might, that one might snap because it's only a thin one, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm all just bloody plain. And Abbott's actually had, and these are, what do you call it? Um, they stamped on their 8.8, .8, uh, so their high tensile, perfect match. Just had them on the shelf. Bloody loved it. That was really good. Right, so let's see if I can stuff this up even more. Oh, actually guys, that was the other thing. Um, I was gonna try and have a shot at using this drill press, which normally sits over in Nay's shed, but that the holes are on angles and I'd had to pack, it was just, I'm just gonna just try it with the, with the drill. The other thing I was gonna say, and it's just lost what I was gonna say. I was gonna say about that, but there was something else I was gonna say, shit. Oh, I remember. Um, Loctite, freeze, freeze and release. Loctite, freeze and release. I tried to find it here. I couldn't. I tried a few different places, just didn't have it on the shelf. Um, so anyway, righto. Rightio, guys, let's get into this and see what happens. Now, in actual fact, I need to know which way. Can you guys see me doing that? Yeah, I'm just putting that other bolt in. So it actually goes on an angle that way. Oh, so I reckon that's way off. Anyway. Yeah, way off. Well, it's drilling way better than the uh, the other drill bits that I had. Stuff's actually bloody coming out. Um, I'll stop filming because this is just going to be boring as hell and I'll just start making headway on it. Righto guys, I just started back on it and because of you guys, you guys get in the way so I don't actually, so I'm just putting a bit of force, a little bit of force and all of a sudden it... So yeah, that's... It's actually drilling into it. I've just got to be careful that I don't, because it is quite over this side. Right, yeah, so I've got a decent hole there. And it's actually, that's drilling through it pretty easy, considering. Um, I can get that easy out in there. So I'm just going to see now whether I can, I can uh, get on it. Oh, that's going to be a bad angle for you, isn't it? Right, eh? Let's see. There we go. Oh, hang on, take that out. I'm going to lose my knuckles on that one. Yeah, 
wonder, I might have to go just a little bit, I might just go a little bit deeper. I tell you what guys, this thing is bloody in there, that's for sure. does not want to just come out. I don't want to go too far again now. Oh man, my brain's going in overdrive. Do, don't, do, don't. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I get that bloody, try and find that freeze release? Yeah, man. Um... Do I need to drill more out? But I'm so I'm getting close on that edge there. Um, all right, let me think. Okay, guys. So I've uh, had a bit of a thought. I've gone out. I actually did a trying to find ringing up places, and look what I found: Loctite LB eight o four, and it is freeze and release. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. It's worth a shot, isn't it? And I just thought this is really struggling. So apparently this freezes the bolt so it microscopically shrinks or whatever and creates little capillaries or whatever. And then there must be some type of lubricant in there that then allows that to penetrate through. So we're gonna spray it on, leave it sit for a while and then have another shot at it. Alrighty, yeah. so it's shit, there goes a fork. Um, what does it say? It says it's supposed to get it down to, oh, 43, minus 43 degrees. So you just spray on top of it. And obviously I should be careful of my hands. Open the lid, Mark. Now it might work. I wonder if I should put that thing on. I'll put that thing on. There we go, see what happens. Whoa. Here we go. Whew. All right, I will leave that on there. See what happens. Doesn't feel overly cold. Right here, guys, so I'm about to try, I'm just hoping that you can see that. I'm filming in 4K, so I should be able to crop in, but I can't seem to get this camera to focus. It just blurs out, which means you won't see all the, uh, all the stuff that's, I'm getting very close to that uh, thing on, on this side here, to the thread, but I haven't hit the thread yet. I can see thread there. Um, anyway, let's have a go. Bloody hell guys, sorry I didn't turn, I didn't realise I didn't turn the camera on. So I was trying to turn it and it, all it ended up doing was just stripping uh, the metal. So I'm going to try and drill a little bit deeper. See if that will, might help. I've got to be so careful, I, you know, when you're doing this and you just want it to go faster, but it's bad for the drills to heat them up. Just making sure I'm not touching that outside thread. Oh, Mark, remember to turn cameras on and bloody stuff. So, there you go. Obviously, <laughs> I was trying to find something better. Look at that. What an idiot. I should have known better. Just this thing's bloody jumping around. This doesn't have a really good... I don't know whether I can lock this down any harder. Oh, I don't want it to bust off again. Shit. Oh, man, that is on there. Tight. All right, before I, let's get that out. Man, the hell did that, why is that so 
locked in there, man. I can't, I don't think I can go another drill size up because I'm going to start eating the thread, which will then bloody stuff it over. You guys see what I'm doing there? Yep. So when I thread that in, so it's going oh, on quite the angle. There. I want to see if I can just chip some of that away. See what that does. So how far down are oh here? Yeah, so I can go a fair way down, can't I? Not anywhere bloody close. I think my only option is just to keep drilling. Yeah, right. Eh? Right. Well, I've gotten past the um, the what do you call it? The the easy out because I was drilling, and then the next minute it just went. Bzzz! So I've got that there. Yeah, so I've actually now gone past. So I've most probably now hit into the aluminium, which would drill out real easy. Um, cool. I'm going to hit it with that uh, freezy stuff. Bring you guys back so my camera doesn't get crap all over it. And that does get, I was feeling it before, and it does get very cold. Right, I'll leave that for a couple of minutes and then we'll have another shot with the easy out. Right, yeah, guys, here we go again. Let's see. Oh, oh don't you bloody go in there. Oh, just wait for it to go snap. Um, yeah, it just does not want to budge. I can see this thing's going to bloody snap before anything. Uh, so I reckon I've got to go bigger now. I want to get it further down in this thicker part, but I've got to be careful of that thread. So I'll just see if I can go up a, another drill bit. All right, here goes nothing. Hitting the, I don't, oh, can I just, hang on, I need light, better light, better light, better light. Yeah, I think I can just see the thread on this back part. Uh, while we're going, we'll just try and, uh, get that to go down a little bit more. Oh, still doesn't want to go. Oh, nah. That's a damn lot of force on that. Whew. Come on. Oh, of course, I was just thought I'd have a little shot, and what have I done again? Boom. Broke it. Oh, can you friggin' believe it? There we go, guys. I don't know if that's in focus. There you go. That might get it better. What the devil do they make these out of? Bloody compressed donkey shit?
Right, eh? Hot, cold, hot, hot, cold, I don't know. Banging, whacking. Let's see if this works. 13 it is. Oh, shit, we're on fire. Oh, hang on. Yep, of course we're on fire. What else would happen in this bloody man cave? Right, eh? Rags and lubricant don't mix. Rags, lubricant, and heat. Welcome to Mark's garage. Holy crap. I don't hold out much bloody for this, but I'll give it a shot because lots of people in the comments, you know, they put lots of different comments. Uh, actually, I might. Oh, yeah. I think, like some people said, you won't get enough on that. It, the what do you call it what do you call that thing the easy out is hard and steel and the to get the weld to go to stick to it is not very good by the looks of that not very good at all all right righty so that's it guys that is uh it, i could drill that out again and just go back to bloody square one and then just do this all over again this is where now I've got to go, right, oh, Mark, now you've just got to be smart. You've given it your best bloody shot. You didn't give up. I've now got to um, seek professional help. Not psychiatry-wise, <laughs> although sometimes I might need that. Um, and hopefully someone else can get that out with the right tools or the right, more so the right skills. But as you saw, I tried the heat, I tried the easy out, I tried the, uh, the Loctite bloody freezy doovy thing, whether I've done all those things not the right way or whatever. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not, you know, I just give shit a shot. So, but, but, they did say, uh, like Beep said, oh no, no, you won't drill through that bloody hardened steel with the cobalt, that, but those, I was able to drill through it, no problems. It did it. Did it, didn't have to use a second drill, like the first one just went all the way and, and drilled through it. Um, but they were right, I wasn't gonna get it out. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, hey, there you go, that's all I can do for now. Whatever, get out of here. Rightio, -oh, guys, so what has happened? What have I done? What is it, 6.16 in the p.m.? So I jumped online, I went to Rally Moto, which is the steering dampener, and I already knew this, but I just double checked anyway. Um, but they don't make this, they don't make this anymore. Like I got this, I don't know how long, long, long bloody time ago. So they don't make that anymore. The one that they do make, it only has one dial now. So there was, and they didn't have the mounts uh, at all. So I couldn't get a replacement one, uh, if that might have been cheaper than taking it somewhere. Anyway, I've taken it somewhere to a professional. Guy's got a shed in his backyard, and um, I've dropped it around there, and he said he might get a chance to do it tomorrow. He was an interesting character, I must say. I came away feeling a bit, ugh. Um, just one of those people that obviously don't have, they're just a straight, I felt like a very naughty boy uh, by the time I got out of there. Um, but anyway. <laughs> right, so. Now I've got to clean up all this shit and you can watch me do it in fast motion. Cue the good bloody music. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Just compromise It's the chance of your life
Never give up. I have kind of given up because I've, I've given up on it to do it somewhere, but I think that was a smart. At some stage, you've got to know when to give up. Always give it your best shot. <laughs> Rightio, guys. So to the guys following the posty bike, Charlie, re jigging him all up. Once I've got that sorted, hopefully this guy gets back to me tomorrow. I can pick, pick that back up put it all back together, slop it on there, Max is back to being done, and then I can get stuck into uh, doing Charlie, because I was hoping to at least get one a week of that posty build. But, you know, this is always what happens, just life gets in the bloody way, shit happens, and yeah, whatever. Right, I hope you uh, enjoyed that, most probably frustrating, I don't know, got a laugh out of it, you know, the usual drill. Right, hey guys. Where are we going? I have no idea. Somewhere. Rightio, yeah, guys. It is the next morning. Oh. And we have a fixed riser mount. And let's have a look what happened. Actually, I've got to say, because I said about it with... Um, so it's Phil's Thread Repair. I've come away today and it was just totally different. Really good, nice bloke. And surprising to me, I didn't realize, he's a gas gas, authorized gas gas uh, motorcycle dude. He uh, sells this bloody, uh, what is it? GRO Global Racing Oil. Um, he is the, what was he? He was the president, the other guy was the treasurer, but there was, there was another guy there. They were the president and the treasurer of Trials Bike Club here in Victoria. What you just don't know is in your bloody backyard. Crazy. So when I rocked up, I went in through the big bloody um, roller doors and here's all these gas gas trials bikes and motorbikes bloody everywhere. But when I went in last night, I, I couldn't see all that. Obviously, Phil must have been having a bad bloody day last night or something tonight. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, really nice, chatty and bloody whatever. So he said, hang on, let me bring it down. Righty A. So there is the, the, the bar end. That is the one where it came out. All, all the stuff. Well, that was the buggered side. And this is what came out of it. So we have... Uh, two easy outs actually in there plus the bolt so you can see where i was obviously drilling through that bolt so what he's done is he's used done the old put the nut on and the is it copper copper or something i remember when i was at abbott's and the the customer guy that was there he did say something about using copper Copper, bronze, no, I think it was copper. I'm pretty sure it was copper. But yeah, so that's how he's got it out. So he's had to get, there was still two. I didn't totally drill out the first one that was in there, but you can actually see where I was drilling part of it. So part of it was getting drilled um, out, but it didn't obviously drill it all the way out. And then that, that was the, the last one. And you can see the copper stuff on that as well. So yeah, I made a right old bloody mess of it. But luckily, I didn't stuff any of the thread in there. I just made Phil's job a whole lot harder. He said if you had brought it to me the first time, it would have been a five minute job. Um, but having all this shit ended up being a half an hour job. Right, so there you go. So that cost 60 bucks. That is cheap as chips. So $60 and it was overnight. Done deal. Mark is now out of the shit. What did Mark learn? Mark learned that, yeah, still give, try, you know, give stuff a go. Obviously, I didn't wreck the thread. I didn't go too far. Um, but sometimes, you know, uh, it's probably way better. Take it to a professional, get it done, and then move on to the next thing. But I always say it never hurts to give shit a try. I've done it before and it's worked for me, but um, yeah, there you go. So um, I'll show you. So give him a plug, why not? There is his card. 
So that's Phil's, or PDR Engineering, Phil's Thread Repairs. Um, and this is the trial, so PDR Trials. Boom, that's the card there. So if you're ever interested in uh, doing trials or giving it a shot, I think they do um, give it a try days or something like that where you can do it. I remember NURB, NURB1 and uh, Johnny, Johnny with the KDM. Uh, that doesn't mean, it could be lots of Johnnies with KDMs. I think, you know, it's Joel, uh, the, the wicked bloody uh, KDM setup that he's got. I remember NURB having a video where those, them two uh, down in Melbourne did a trials uh, type of thing. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, and that's the other thing that Phil does is uh, global racing oil. Boom, and they just have uh, you know, all, the, all the motorcycle oils and bits and pieces. Bloody ripper. Um, cool bananas, I reckon what we'll do now guys is Let's bloody check out Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers. Check out, uh, we'll meet up with Noel down there and uh, go for a wander through his shop. It's pretty cool. Righty, hey guys, we are of bloody, of, I'm here at, uh, what is it? Uh, Essendon Motorcycle and Mowers, formerly Raceway um, mo Motorcycles. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna see Noel, and then he's gonna take his stuff into the, uh, the haunted, apparently it's a bit of a haunted house or something like that. Check this out, eh? So these guys are now just Royal Enfield. The uh, the Suzuki's are gone. They've also got, out the back we'll see in a minute, a couple of the old Himalayas. There's Noel there, but I'm, I'm gonna come back to you, Noel. Cool. This, guys, just a, oh, just, there's something, just keep an eye on that bike right there. There is something very exciting happening. And we've got uh, the old bloody, all the gizmos. Oh, actually, I didn't go in there. Oh, hang on, we'll quickly just have a look in here. The old tyres. I've actually got a tyre to pick up, but I'm on the bike, so I can't pick it up. It's, uh, I was saying. What was I saying? The Dunlop D606. What is it? Pirelli. MT21. Noel has one here. He's going to give it to me, and we're going to do that test between for the on the front of the bike. So, I'll say anyway. There's some bloody tyres there, and through here he has all the bloody Husqvarna stuff. And Noel, yeah. I bought a I bought a chainsaw. You did. Well, my own PPD. My old man bought a bloody chainsaw. <laughs> it's the one missing off here, and it's not for me, damn it. But that's all right. This is Damien. Have you got our chainsaw ready to go? I Can think I, I think I heard I've it. Got out. The manual. I heard him bloody revving it out the front there. We're, yeah. just, we're just running it in for you. Cool. So you're you're the main mechanic. Is that the deal? Um, yeah, I'm one of them. One of the mechanics. Yeah. Cool. And we'll, we'll get to see the mechanical side of shit. The, yeah, sure. Yep. But yep. we want to see the haunted house. Yes. Let's go. All right. You better bring Damien up if you want to know what the stuff is. Damien, you happy to come? Yeah. Right. The, oh, we don't get to jump over the bike. No, nah, we better not. All right. Cool. Actually, you want to just sneak through there behind it? Yeah, go, Damien. Yeah, let me move it out of the, out of the road for you. He's a backwards steerer. I'm no good at that. Yeah. <laughs> so out here, guys, this is a bit of an extension. The last time I was here, uh, only this part here um, was here, and there's actually, I think that's where on the other side, there's heaps bloody changed in this joint. It's crazy. That's what I want to see. Right. But we're going to change. Right, eh, Damien? Up the stairs. Yeah. Show us your best angle. First of all, enter at own risk, okay? <laughs> Alright, cool. Love it. I'm excited now. Oh. This is what being 40 odd years in the industry does for you. Yeah. yeah. Right, eh? So the problem that you got up here is you got so much shit. shit. Second hand and new old stock and who knows what. Yeah. But he's the only one that knows what's in it. <laughs> yeah, and we won't go through the list, eh, Damien? Ah, oh, there's heaps of stuff. 
It's um, everything from the early 80s yep. to... Uh, so it's like two level. strokes and four yeah, strokes? Yeah, that sort of stuff, yep. We've got expansion chambers. Oh, yeah. There's a side cover off a uh, 1983 GSX 250. Yeah, and we were, we, money we were talking about this. It's like, hey. how do you, like, you got to sell all this stuff, but the cost Someone's of you. You've got to ask you for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You've yeah. got to ask for it. Do you yeah. have it? Otherwise, yeah, you to come got here. Time to put it online yeah. and all no, that. No, it stuff, cost so. you more than what it was bloody worth. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, there's a. It's the uh, one, two, five. Probably, well, that's not a new one, go ahead. There's a RM80X 1990 model, brand new expansion chain. Yeah, all right. Uh, Holy so shit, there it goes. Um, and I've got fairing panels and... Mirror, anybody want a mirror? mirror. Yeah, mirrors. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the guards. Yeah, an old TS. Probably early, late 70s speedo. Yeah, right, so you obviously know what you're doing, eh? Um, when you can pick something like that up and give us half an idea yeah. of what it is. Hang on, he's... 1977 he's been pulling these bits apart. Oh, really? Yes. <coughs> oh, okay. It'd be nice to show you. We're a bit more organised, so we've pulled out a... Might be a good one. Here's a... There you go, look at that brand new wow. RF900 um, uh, left hand fairing panel. You sure. cannot buy that. Yeah, right. Um, well, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How much? <laughs> I don't want to unpack it. That no, no, don't, don't. don't. It's, a, it's all new old stock. Brand new G6R, probably early oh, model. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Oh look, there's an owner's manual for a 450 chainsaw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of yeah. brand new panels and stuff I've got in there. Yeah. Um, some of it's been... It'd be so good if you could... Store, but it's yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a brand new switch block. Switch block yeah. off a... Mm, yeah, and there'd, there'd be people out there just going, oh, I wish oh, I could yeah. get one of those. And here, here it is, but... Yeah. You know, it all takes time, takes money to bloody, yeah. you know. Yeah. But if they've got something in particular they want, email us. If it's on their list Ask the question, yeah. Damien knows what it is, you'll soon say, yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, the, hang on, look out. The ceiling the ceiling's in. falling in. Um, so it's, uh, radiators. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. all the way in here. There's a... There's a brand new oh. radiator off, I reckon, a VS750 or something like that. Yeah, right. Um, there's a brand new mirror off a Ducati. No, handlebar. I was going to say that doesn't look like a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Lot, lots of goodies. Yeah, wow. Oh, so hang on, where'd we come up? No, through this way. Oh. Okay. That, that a bit of a well, I'm a dit. I'm. It's too well lit to be a haunted house, yeah. but it's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All, uh, bloody levers. Oh, there's all sorts of fairing yeah. panels. All sorts exhaust of stuff. systems. And then we got a whole pile of got brand new tanks. Plenty of exhaust. If people want to do up a uh, an exhaust for a DR650, we've got a heap of GSXR standard exhaust. Oh, Mufflers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to do that well, there you go. Well, there's plenty of DR650 riders on this channel. Yeah, look at that. Bearing, bearing panels, some new old stock. Uh, see through here. Right. Oh, yeah. A new wheel off a GCR 1000. Yeah. Some description. Um, oh, there, there's the horn. There's, there's, oh. another, there's another panel that's probably fairly fairly rare, brand new. Yeah. Uh, TLR 1000, yellow one. Say, it looks like Bumblebee's head. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of stuff like that. 
And we won't go in there, guys, because that looks scary as hell. Uh, there's no light in there, but there's... <laughs> That's the haunted house I was looking there's, for. Um, that was the old dark room from this being a printer's building. Oh! Where they used to make the plates in that. Yeah, yeah right. RGB frame. Yep. Yeah, That's right. Pretty rare. Mm. All sorts of stuff. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, there you go, guys. That was the, uh, the haunted house. And if you're after some... So is that all Suzuki stuff? Predominantly, yeah. Predominantly, yeah. Yeah, cool. Brilliant. Right, oh, we've just got ourselves into the uh, the parts room. <coughs> Typical rows and rows of when you come and say I need a spark plug for a whatever. And yeah, so you've still got heaps of Suzuki stuff. Do you know? Do you, you wouldn't? You'll slowly get out of all the other bike stuff, or do you keep that because you you do all the mechanical? You do repair. Yeah, you still, yeah, yeah. So we still service, service any bike. Repair anything. anything. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <coughs> all right. Follow, follow Damien. No, this is a lot of oh. genuine, genuine Suzuki stuff. You know, like they're all genuine spare parts. Yeah. Old and new. Oh, this is all brand new stuff. Uh, no, oh, sorry. Old models, new models. Mm, yeah, new old stuff. stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is, but... That's all right. But there'll be some quite, you know, discontinued stuff. I mean, I get dealers uh, ring me up because of our computer oh. system. and go, it's showing you you've got this in stock, and I'll, as long as I can find it, no problem. Yeah, right. Oh, of course. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Absolutely. computer system can probably find it at any dealership. Dealership, if it's yeah. in there. Yeah. In there, inventory. <clears throat> but some of that stuff upstairs being second hand won't be. No, exactly, yeah. Alright, uh, into the inner sanctum, guys. But, oh, oh this is cool as shit. I love this. This is old school. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Sorry, guy, I don't know if you can pick that up on the thing. It's a fairly low ceiling and it just screams awesome look at that man cool so oh and there's that's actually the main boom yeah this is what a workshop should look like look at the floor look at that love it sweet so you do servicing all motorcycles, um, yeah, mowers, well yeah, most, most. most. Yeah, yeah yeah of course obviously, mowers, chainsaws, yep. whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, 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 sweet. Yeah, and then just, as I say, exhaust. Oh they're all the exhausts, look at that, and that's fucking shit. See I'm weird, Yeah. I like, I like old, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's this, our garden. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. This stuff spins my wheels. But we're in a big revamp sort of thing at the moment, just yeah. to tidy up, but yeah, it's right. getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. Cool as shit. When you're busy, it's hard to find the time to do it. And that's, and that's the thing, yeah, yeah. exactly. You've got to keep going forward, but there's always stuff behind nice you that you've got to keep around. on. That's a nice one. The guy's done a few mods too. Yeah, right. So that was originally the GT Continental, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, actually. I like that bloody, uh, that's, yeah, the black and the chrome. Yeah. Yeah, this one's been modified quite a lot. Quite a lot, yeah. So, yeah. Even short back front. so they've got different yeah. shocks. Got different shocks. Got Brembo brakes front and oh. rear master cylinder. Got different headlight, LED. Different, different handlebars? Different, no. no? Oh, yeah, different handlebars, different switch blocks. Yeah, uh, different yeah. guards. It's got the SS forks inside. We've just put a high comp uh, SNS piston kit and cam in it. Wow. Um, it's had the back end cut down and shortened. So why? It's just because this place has got a lot of money. Can, yeah. yeah, yeah. Love it, man. Yeah. Best fucking reason ever. And have a listen to it. Oh, here we go now. We're going to get a real treat. Was that Diablo? That's a cool looking bloody yeah. pipe, isn't it? Yeah. Coming through. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, now, you're videoing, so I'll let you keep videoing. Go on, you can walk past. We won't I show you here. I just want to dump this on the floor. Don't put oh. me in that video, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you some videos. See? Right. 
Why are you women? They're always the same. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. Man, if this is your bike, I approve. <laughs> look out, look out. Damien's onto something. Look out. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna, we gonna learn something. This is a set of barrels off one of these. Oh, all right. Okay. And then if you want to turn it into a, an 865cc. Yeah. That's, that's the original sleeve. That's what we've put oh, in this Oh, so that's how much it's bought out. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Um, and this is going into another bike that we're modifying. Yeah, right. Wow. Oh, cool. Well, there you go, guys. That was just an impromptu bloody bit of a look around uh, yes. Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers, formerly Raceway Motors. That's a bloody mouthful. It is. That. You know, know. Try it on the phone. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this has been Noel. Thanks, Noel, man. I'll shake your bloody hand there. For let, Thanks, me, uh, let me do Very that. Pleasure. Having a look around. And I think we might see a little bit more of you. Yep. I have to come back and pick up that tyre. So I'm not going to put that on the back of the bike. It's going to be hard yep. enough with the, the yeah, yeah. chainsaw, Chains thanks to my yeah. old man. But anyway, yep. shit happens. Righto, guys. Back to the man to cave. Righto, guys. On my way home from me, uh, me, me day job in Melbourne. <laughs> Good old Harry. Man, it's, I tell you what. He's like an old friend. And it's just so comfortable. And look, th that's the bloody, uh, that's the freeway there, dual freeway, all the way from Melbourne to bloody Bendigo. So we're heading up that way. Is currently, what's that say? Six o'clock? Yes, six o'clock. So daylight savings is over. Um, yeah, it gets dark pretty quick. So I should be home before it gets too dark. Not that, but that's a problem. But geez, I had to pull over just to have a cigarette just so I could get this helmet off my head. I don't know what my bloody ears look like, but I, they feel red. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it, what it is. It was all right going down. It wasn't too bad, but uh, coming back tonight, um, yeah, just, oh, you, know when they, you know what I'm talking Anybody that rides a motorbike with a helmet, you know what I'm talking about. You've had those times where just your ears, you're trying to move the helmet around just to give them a bit of a break. Anyway, there you go. Thought I might as well just grab some uh, footage uh, for Man Cave Tuesday. Right, eh? I'll finish my cigarette and then I'll bloody hot tail it and make it home for uh, tea. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thought I didn't let you know what helmet this is. I got this years ago. I can't remember. I did some review or something. I don't know why I bought it. I've got stickers over it, haven't I? It's an RJ's. What's that? Apex uh, 2 helmet it's a good helmet it's really it's nice and quiet actually i was quite surprised how quiet it was although i must admit this actually helps keep um helmets quiet i normally use my the open face helmet i always love wearing that but it's actually a bit long in the tooth it's most probably two, 2009 is when i would have bought that helmet so it's well and truly when when I have it on, I can now feel it. I can feel it on the top of my head a bit hard. So it's obviously the cushioning in it's um, going. I've got to get a new one. And I like the open face. But I must admit, this morning and today, riding in that, it is actually good. Um, it's not as fatiguing as an open face one. But I like the open face for filming. It's more engaging, obviously, uh, when I've got the camera facing me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so sorry. I just like talking to a camera, apparently. <laughs> Righto, shut up, Mark, and back to the man cave. Rightio, back in the man cave. Just thought I'd put it out there after doing a little bit of editing of that last bit of footage you saw. Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers was not where I was doing my day job. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Now, Hunting Fear. This book was given to me by um, Ryan from up in Queensland. It's a book by Benji Brunden. Some of you guys might know it. He actually got a the uh, world a Guinness World Record, and I'll just quickly see if I can find it in here, uh, for doing X amount of um, deserts. Where are the hell? Oh, there it is. There's the, there's the certificate there. And, sorry. The fastest time to cross all 10 Australian deserts on motorbike is 29 days, 19 hours and 38 minutes and was achieved by Benjamin Bruden, Australia in the uh, Tanamite Desert, Australia on 
on 8th of August 2019. Brilliant. So that's an official Guinness Book record. Crazy. Now, why Ryan, uh, how Ryan got onto it. Ryan suffered like most of us with, um, you know, his issues, mental health, depression, bits and pieces. And he came across this book and read it and it, he said it just did wonders for him reading this. Now, you might look at it and I expected it straight up to just be a motorbike book, but it doesn't start out that way. Now, I've got to say, I've only got to, I think, about page 50. I have tried and tried to read it. Now, it's not because it's a bad book. It's a good book. It's just that I'm not a book reader. I've only ever read one book in my whole entire life, and that was back in my bloody school days. It was a Dean R. Kuntz bloody uh, big, thick thing. I managed to get through it. But as you guys know, I'm flat out all the time, and when I have downtime, it's sit in front of the TV and just zone out. Um, even when I, when I go to bed, I don't read a book. I just jump into bed within five minutes, Nay will tell me, like sometimes two minutes, boom, I'm out, I'm flat out. Um, so what Ryan, so I've, he's given this, it's actually signed by uh, uh, Benji. But what he said was once I've read it, to then pass it on to another crew member. So what I've done is I've set up this page on the site, any of the crew members. Unfortunately, I can't do it for the uh, international guys, just for the whole sending it out that way. Um, but yeah, so I've just created, you just register, say, yep, I'm interested in reading it, and I will refer, whoever's the first person that does it, I'll send it to them, and then once they're finished, they let me know, and then I will give them the address to send it on to the next crew member. So there would be most people, I don't know what it'd cost to send that, if you put it in a satchel, it might be about uh, 10 bucks to send it on. Um, but that's, that's the idea of this book. Check it out on the, for the crew members, check it out on the website. Cool. Now, I got some mail and this, so I've got a uh, stubby holder. Make it here and jobs appear. Boom, so there you go, it's a stubby holder. So this is a the Union, where's my bloody short lockers? <clears throat> Actually, and a T-shirt, I've got a T-shirt here. Boom. Oh shit, can I, I don't know, there's that, and then there's on the back, it's got that. This is quite a big t-shirt. I think it might be a bit of a dress for me. Um, so this is, uh, what is it? Australian Manufacturing Workers Union, AMWU. Boom. Um, the union hasn't sent this to me, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so, g'day Mark and Nay, I have sent you a t-shirt and stubby holder. I hope you can use uh, them. You put on a great show, love your work. Don't give up and keep on riding. Your mate, uh, Patrick Tubbs. Brilliant, Patrick. Thanks heaps, mate. I see I've got a self-addressed envelope, so I'll be sending you out a sticker. Righto. Um, I think we've got to do some bloody giveaways. We've got two lots of stuff to do. Let's go. Rightio, yes, you did. You guessed it correctly. We're doing the Jay Leno's Garage Australia $150 bloody giveaway for a crew member. They'll be able to spend $150 on that website. That's it. It doesn't cost you anything. You spend $150 bucks getting whatever those bloody products you want. Uh, remember, for the Biker Bits bloody community out there, you awesome guys, 15% off is what they'll give you. Use that code down there. Fantastic, everybody's a bloody winner. Right, eh? Let's give this 150 bucks away. Right, eh? Here we go, guys. So there's only 37 entrants in this one, so the odds of someone winning in this is bloody brilliant. Right, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marty Saunders. Bloody ripper, there you go. Big Marty. Your KTM will be sparkling from here to bloody everywhere, man. You'll love the shit. Righto. Um, so remember, bloody check out their website, 15% off, all that kind of bullshit. Now we've got to give away something else. Let's get into that. Righto, guys, it's time to give away to a lucky crew member, of course, the old uh, Top Don JS1200 Jump Starter Power Bank torch all in one it works we tested it we did a review on it now i'm hoping this little stunt's going to work 
actually earlier today, I started him up and run him out of petrol. So he might take a little bit to start. Hopefully I can put this, just sit it on there and it starts up. Just for shits and giggles. Right, Righto, Whiskey, come on. Play good. Oh! Right, eh? Boom! See? Never goes my bloody way. How's that? I run it. So that... Because I... Come on, give it away. Let's go. Rightio, so we've got 70 entrants in this one. Here we go. One... Oh. Hang on, let me do that. I don't know what happened then. I don't think I was clicked on it. Uh, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Congratulations, Mark Wicks. You are the proud owner of this jump starter. Somebody would think I love giving shit away. I do. <laughs> Bloody good shit. Um, so I will send that out in the mail tomorrow. Congratulations. Right, eh? Get out of here now. Actually, guys, I was just getting that bloody stuff sorted and I was saying, so we've still got uh, the GoPro battery bloody thing to give away. I've still got to do a review on that before I do that. Um, but I did mention last time about the, what do you call it? Uh, Riders Interphone. Interphone, basically, it's comms. Comms, you can talk on your phone, talk with another person whatever. So it's Bluetooth 5.1, impermeable IP65, 850 milliamp hour battery, high quality music, smartly make and answer calls, two person intercom intelligent noise reduction from Tally here. Now there's an issue. They were supposed to send me two of these. This has happened before and I've had to contact them and then I wait till the second one. They've only sent me one. They were supposed to send me two. Um, so it might be a little way away before I get that actually done because I'm not going to do the whole review and then they don't bloody send me another one, you know what I'm talking about. So just, yeah, right up, cool. Well, there you go, guys. That is Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. Hope you all enjoyed it. There is no BB news and shit. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to leave that till the next Man Cave Tuesday. It's getting long, running out of time, got lots to bloody do. But I will get to it. We've got uh, more geocache, bloody, not geocache, geo stash hunters, bloody fine and stuff out there. And there's a lot of uh, crew members doing rides and photos and all that kind of stuff. So I will get into that. Righto, guys. Remember, keep on riding. And if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on. Oh, and I do have a KDM 690 that's going to be here for a couple of days. So there will be that video coming out, uh, hopefully, this week. There's another bloody one I've got to do too. There's something coming up. I don't know, whatever. There's lots of stuff. Oh, and, and, and when I was at uh, Essendon Motorcycles and Mowers and I did, there was that uh, Royal Enfield Continental GT and I said, take a note of it. Something very big happening with that coming soon, month maybe, or something like that. Yes, very cool. <laughs>